What about <laughs> Zeppelins? So supposedly before, like we hear the name Led Zeppelin, that was actually not just a band, but that was the actual name of the, of the actual airships, right? Right. The, uh, like the Hindenburg. Yeah. But supposedly they're saying that all these old cathedrals around the world were big enough where you could insert the airships or in the glass palaces around, you know, like in Europe you have. Uh -huh. But also you could tether these things off to the Empire State Building or these old cathedrals and unload and unload passengers. Right. And this is all old world tech, and they've been doing this for several hundred years. Some people claim the Phoenicians were doing it. Uh, tied into that as well is the underground ancient rail systems they're talking about and tunnels. You know, right. like we talked about the one from Scotland to Turkey or Romania to Egypt. Scotland to Turkey. Yeah, you didn't know about that one? It's a huge cave system or something that's connected. Wow. Uh, and also the old Jesuit books, that a lot of stuff's coming out, where they tie in the underground, civil, uh, underground tunnels in South America. Uh -huh. But it shows it all around the world, the different books, right? Some, uh -huh. Something subterraneous. I wish I would remember the name. But the blimps and the Phoenician ships, the ships were submarines. And they look like giant fish. So it makes sense about the story of the Bible with Jonah and the whale. All right. He's the belly of the whale for three days. If he's in a submarine that looks like a fish... That's kind of a neat connection if it's true, you know? Yeah, yeah. Anyway. 